Hello, welcome to new unboxing and quick analysis. Today will be a new JJC model. This is their first brushless edition. This is the X1. So it's nothing else than their first uh, 200 mm size, approximately a racer. So it's a kind of new revision of the Blade 200QX or the Sky HMX 280. So it comes in this very compact box. You have the uh, gray and green edition and the gray and blue edition. So in this box you will find everything, the radio transmitter as well as the quadcopter. So here is the content of the, this box. So here is the quadcopter itself. So already assemble the legs, you just need to uh, tie two screws to uh, install the, the landing gears. So as you can see, out of the box is really, really similar to the uh, 200QX okay, or the HMX1. So uh, on the bottom part, you can find a cam port. So it's a 1.25 mm, a three position uh, cam port, be aware. And here you can find this attached system to install um, camera or an FPV kit. I will enter into more details in few uh, instance for this uh, part. So what also you will find this radio transmitter. So unfortunately mine came with a broken sticks but it's a, a damage during transportation but nothing else. A lot of trim button, no LCD display and only two shoulder button here. These buttons are fake. You will need four AA batteries to feed your transmitter. Okay. Just a statues LEDs, red one, that's all, no arming sequence, I will also explain how to proceed, but uh, no instruction manual came with my uh, uh, X1, but I already identified that the left shoulder button are associated with the sp speed mode, okay, the right shoulder button I'm not sure yet, but this one here is associated with the potential camera you can install uh, to a uh, pilot to trigger the cam port. So for example, if you decided to install this excellent FPV kit, this is the Saima X51, okay, don't take the uh, Yixan X Tarantula or the uh, JJC X16, you have to take really the Sigma X5 with three position uh, connector. You can install it directly and attach at least to the front part and you can connect directly on this port and you will be able to trigger the camera recording by pushing this button up and to take a picture by pushing down this one, okay? So, speed mode there, uh, right, this one, I don't know yet. I don't know yet if there are some rate because actually it's coming in auto leveling, is so called in horizon mode. I don't know if it's possible to uh, start to uh, be in acro mode if you are more uh, aware about the multi Wii or nay 32 uh, uh, flying controlling board. So what is coming to some prop guards with some associate screw there. Uh, they are very well, very good for beginners. They are efficient, that's pretty good. A charger, um, using the BIOS plug to charge your LiPo battery. And your LiPo battery is a 2S edition. So it's a 1300 milliamps power words. 724, no discharge rate, and I think the size is more or less the same than the Xingyan uh, X4, X6, the Tarantula, maybe a little bit shorter. Okay, so uh, you have to insert the, the, the battery in the, by the rear parts, okay, and as you may see, you have a little free room to install maybe a longer one, so the Tarantula model should enter, but be aware you have to uh, to buy, ban everything to uh, lock the battery bay, okay? So, um, what is coming with some props, some 6-inch model, to be precise, some 60-40. Uh, the hub is uh, associated with a 5 mm shaft, so it's a pure cylinder circle hub, no pro no, nothing special, uh, 5 mm large, okay, and each of them, okay, I will Sorry. So the weight is approximately of four gram for each props, and uh, <clears throat> the uh, total weight without the lipo and uh, well without the lipo is uh, approximately of I will scale with use this box to measure. Okay, it's pretty light. 
So only 180 grams, okay, without props and without the LiPo battery. But in general, if I had the LiPo battery, is below 260 grams and with the props, it should be not exceed 300 grams. So in my point of view, it's pretty light. So, okay, as you can see, 275 grams, which is at least 20, 40 grams lighter than the Flying 3D X6, for example. So, the plastic is uh, strong, uh, not very soft, more uh, hard one. So, I guess it will be able to um, survive to a moderate crash up to a hard one but not so much more don't expect uh, really uh, to survive the durability of this quad to hard crashes should be very limited so it's a racer so as you will you will see in my outdoors video it's just a beast the ratio weight versus power of the motors are just great so curtaining the motors they are announced to be 18 type 1806 exactly and announced to spin at 200 2080 kV which is not bad at all so the ratio of this motor and style on this quad with this weight is just great for 2s uh, system is offering a lot of power it means that you will be able to carry for example this FPV kit which weight something like 25 gram without any problem without any incidents on the Flying duration. The flying duration with this LiPo is at minimum of 10-11 minutes. That's great. So as you will see, it's just an amazing flyer. The rates are uh, uh, proportional, if not, not, I'm not wrong, to the speed nodes. That's definitely great news. The rates are insane. In the expert mode, you're almost 55 degrees. So your your quad capture is moving in this uh, with such angles. That's pretty. Uh, a, a, amazing so really i like it i will make sure that i really i really i like it okay so uh the um radio protocol as far as i know is still unknown so yet another time they change the radio protocol i don't i didn't identify yet the rf ship i'm not sure it's an xn 297 but for sure on the radio transmitter as you will see in my internal photos they install a power amplifier plus a LNA. So it means that the range will be great. Expect something at 3 400 uh, meters. That means that for flying FPV, it's just great. No problem of range without this transmitter. Okay. Uh, concerning the board, uh, the ESC, in fact, uh, you can start to see the part of it. The ESC are all together in one 4 in one ESC board. Uh, I think it may be a problem. It means that if one SC fail, you have to change all the board to, uh, together. That's a, a potential problem of maintenance. But the good news, the maintenance is pretty easy. You just need to unscrew one, two, three screw per hump, plus, plus this two one, and you can access. Uh, concerning the light, uh, they are not so amazing. I was not impressed by the light. So the night capacities of this quadcopter is for me relatively limited. As you can see, just basic. Um, Two red front, white rear, no, no statues on, on the on the front, for example. That's pretty uh, light uh, for LEDs. Um, I will now show some important point is how to harm the quadcopter. It's a new way. I is not different from a multi wheel or a 32 for example. So I will install the props. Be sure to do it if you are indoors without any prop, insta uh, prop install to be uh, vigilant. So I will power up the quad capture. It's coming in GST connector. Yeah, I forgot to mention that. And the gauge, the diameter of the wires are large enough to support at least 10 amperes. Okay, uh, that's pretty good. They didn't install very thin wires because it could you could have problem with it. So I will start the 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 quad capture. Turn on the transmitter. Okay, as soon as you are uh, you power your transmitter, the AC continue their music to see that is barrel. So for luckily there is some safety uh, procedure. You cannot push the throttle and without danger, okay, because it's not harmed. To how to harm it? First of all, you have to push the bow stick in lower outer position like this, then go fast right, left and right. Okay, I will repeat. 
Wait, le right, left, right, and it should work. I will repeat again, okay? Right, left, right, and it's arm, okay? And how to disarm? You have to wait a few instants, I think some, something like 10 seconds, and you will disarm if I'm not wrong. It's a little bit long, but it's like this, uh, no uh, disarm as far as I know, uh, procedure, okay? Okay, waiting the beep. So I will repeat the arming sequence, you have to go fast. Outers, right, left, right, okay. Okay, so I will wait. Another point, I will show you how is the face safe procedure. Okay, I will turn off the transmitter and you will count how many seconds it will stop. One, two, three, four, five, six. You see that from two seconds is the motor start to decrease in spinning. That means that you have a potential flyaway of two, three seconds and it will try to slowly uh, land, okay, but it's not cutting immediately the throttle, it's trying to do a soft landing, it's a good point or not. Uh, for very safety condition, I prefer when the motor stops directly, because you have a potential flyaway, it could be dangerous. In the other hand, uh, your, your quadcopter can survive to the crash with this soft procedure, so no uh, free lunch, I will say. Okay, so, um, I will conclude this unboxing and a quick analysis. Of course, you have to check my orders video. To make short, I really, really like this quadcopter. I guess for 110, 120 uh, dollars, associated with this, uh, sorry, FPV kit, this one, you have a great combo, a very pretty cheap FPV uh, platform with everything, a small FPV monitor, a very nice HD 720p camera, you can install a wider lens to enjoy more your FPV flight, but it's great. So this quadcopter, capture, thanks to this rate, is a great acrobatic flyer, but also can be a potential great uh, FPV platform. The control range is great, while the radio is basic, but it's okay. Uh, but, uh, uh, I really, really, I like it. For uh, it's not really uh, for uh, beginners. Well, at least you, you have to stay in beginner mode because the rates are very, very uh, acrobatics and pronounced. So, I guess in, if you want a second quadcopter, I strongly advise this model. Really, really. So uh, it's pretty fast uh, as a female. Are great. Really, really, I, I like it. Okay, I will hand this unboxing and quick analysis. Please check my orders videos. And if you like this video, please submit. If you like my channel, please subscribe. See you next time. Bye-bye.